There are three tips that will make you sound like a local in Japan. My name is David, I'm from Taiwan, and I've been in Japan for six years. Hello, my name is Hiroki. I'm from Japan for three years. Hello, my name is Hiroki. So today we're going to share with you three tips that we think are very useful. So the first one is something that you can really use at restaurants. Right. Especially at izakayas. So izakayas in Japan is very very common. So it's, it's kind of like a bar slash restaurant where you can have a variety of drinks as well as food. So you can have from ramen, okonomiyaki, gyoza, you can have sashimi. For drinks, it's also a bunch of things that you can have. Soft drinks, alcohol, Japanese sake, sake. everything you can think of. So when you first visit an izakaya, you're probably surprised by just how many choices you have with food as well as drinks. So which is why sometimes people may um, get stuck on what they want to eat after they order their first drink, right. which usually is right. nama. Nama. Oh, that's a nama topic. Yeah. Nama. <laughs> Togeizu. Nama. Nama. Yeah, so I mean, I think, especially for me, when I first came to Japan, um, it's, it's rather hard to sound very natural when I talk in Japanese, especially when ordering, right? So I, I, I think when people come to visit Japan, most likely they will ask for a menu, and of course they can't really pronounce it, especially if the things are in, you know, kanji or katakana or those kind of things, so they would go like kore, kore, kore. And then, usually I'm faced, or, or people around me are faced with a, with, a, with a difficulty because you don't know how to tell the person or the waiter or waitress that's waiting for you. Right to that you know you've you've done ordering and and you would like what you've ordered just now for now right I and mean, you just don't want to make the waiter wait anymore so so here's the one practical practical phrase you can use とりあえず ,以上で. とりあえず ,以上で. <laughs> you finished ordering the first round of drinks and you want to take some more time to go through the food menu right so you would say とりあえず ,以上で. So what would happen after you say this phrase is, is that the waiter or waitress will be like And then they would leave, right? They would leave you alone and then they come back later when you ring the bell or you say ah, oh, Yeah, so I think the key point here is that you only say this when you are still planning on ordering later, right? So you're, you're not done with the ordering but you just say this so that It's like you, pausing the order Yeah, it, it's, it's, yeah, order it's, it's to moment. tell the waiter or waitress that that's it for now I think I think most people they when they when they go to the restaurants they would say ijo de ijo de or ijo des or those kind of things which which works, but at the same time if you say toriyaze ijo de or toriyaze kore de onegaishimasu or something like that, toriyaze puts some little spice in it. It's 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 good for transitioning, right? Like you know toriyaze like it's it's smoother, right? Right. The second tip that we want to give you is when you actually finishing every everything every food every order and you want to pay for it and you want to call the waiter mm. you don't really want to shout shout out like okaike onegaishimasu because that's that's kind of embarrassing <laughs> yes i mean i think i think one example that hiroki gave was that you know I, I think in other countries maybe you go like that you know or i mean i don't know i mean you say this or you shout you know hey you know uh, bill please or those kind of things right but a scenario is, is if you go to a high-end restaurant in japan where the waiter or waitress is very far away from you. Right? You don't want to shout too far away, hey, you know, hey, check please, bill please, those kind of things, right? You would then. Oh, I get it. Can you do that again? This, this means bill please. Bill please. Bill please. Yeah? So that's the second tip. So the third tip is if you ever come to Japan, you definitely want to try going to ramen shop. You finish one bowl of ramen and you, you got. You still got some soup left in the bowl, but you want to go for more, some more. And what? Here's a phrase you can say, which is a uh, kaidama onegaishimasu. Or kaidama kurasai. Kaidama is a word for refill, specifically for noodles. Especially for ramen. Especially for ramen. Right. Especially. For so ramen. I mean, if you walk in Japan, you know, walk around all this, you know, visit all the ramen shops. There, there are places where where they would offer a free. If, if you're really hungry and you want to ask for that, you just say, you know, kaidama kurasai or kaidama onegaishimasu. And then most likely what they will do is that they will ask you how hard you want your noodles to be. When you just want the noodle and you don't really care about how hard the noodle is, and just order futsu de. 
That means like ordinary. Okay, this is very hard. This is very hard. The reason why it's very hard is very, very hard to pronounce like a Japanese, right? So what did you just say? Futsu. <laughs> okay. How do you pronounce the F without the F, right? Because it's not, it's not futsu. It's, it's, it's like you're not, okay. Right, it's, it's like you're just breathing out strong. Tsu is actually T-S-U, right? So it's T-S-U. actually not tsu, right? It's not tsu. Right. It's futsu. 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 How do you, how do you say fu? Huh? 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 Yeah? Huh? So it's, it's more like H. Right. It's more like H. Huh? Huh? Futsu. Right. Oh. I think, I think the gesture helps. Futsu. Futsu. <laughs> so when you actually pronounce tofu? Ah, to, oh, tofu. So in English, you should, you should spell like T O F U, right? So that'd be tofu. But then in Japanese, it should be like tofu. So, when you prefer rather softer noodle, yawarakame. 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 But at least pronunciation wise, not not too difficult. Okay. So that's soft. Right? That's soft. So word for hard is katame. Katame. This is katame. Katame. Futsu. Yawarakame. De katame. That's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>